Now the second one that is in the news is about herbicide tolerant BT cotton. Now what is this herbicide BT cotton? Well, there is a, why it is in the news? There is illegal cultivation of herbicide tolerant BT cotton for, uh, and uh, this has taken a lot of uh, increase in sales, sport in sales from uh, 30 lakh last year, uh, it has now gone to 75 lakhs. So these kind of seed packets, illegal sales are taking place. What is the issue about illegal sale? That is, they are not authorized dealers. They are selling uh, without any permission or without license. That is one nature of illegal. The second one is, they may be selling a seed which is mimicking like the HD original one, but may not have the quality and the properties of the original one. That is called spurious seeds. So there are illegality leads to that. Then also it is a, there is a tax evasion, right? Sales tax evasion, GST and other things. Because it is not brought to the book. It is sold in the unorganized market. Second, the buyer is not getting the quality. Now that is the serious issue about this. And hence it is in the use. So illegal cultivation of such herbicide tolerant has seen a huge jump. And farmers unknowingly, unknowingly are buying and uh, uh, falling prey to this. And because of this, there has been an increase in the sale of the packets from 30 lakhs to 75 lakhs. Now, industry lobbies are expressing their concern. They, they are pleading the government, please do something. The enforcement agency, the agriculture department, the market department, and uh, the weights and measures, sales uh, by the police department called metrology, they are all enforcing agencies, the police, and uh, the, the council department officials, uh, they should organize raids, conduct raids. And would be this unscrupulous traders, illegal, uh, were indulging in illegal sale, to the, should be brought to the justice. And uh, so that legality is established, sales and quality is assured, and price is also controlled. So these are the uh, return to the agriculture ministry, and they want that uh, the, these unscrupulous traders who are doing illegal cultivation and illegal sale should be booked and punished, and they, they should be punished. And uh, we also should take stop to such things. Mostly, that is because this is a genetically modified cotton variant and uh, this is serving, acting very uh, dangerous, detrimental to both environment and health of the population. How does it make a uh, Well, environmentally, it contains a glycophosphate substance which can uh, cause uh, damage and it is contamination pollution to the soil and water gets into groundwater and can cause uh, carcinogenic effect on the uh, people who consume over a long term consumption. The other one is it is damaging the environment, polluting the environment. So it has got a environmental as well as economic consequences and health consequences. What is BT cotton? Let us try to understand. Well, it is a transgenic crop that uh, uh, by the Center for Commercial Cultivation in India. The Government of India, Agriculture Ministry has approved the sale of the BT cotton. Why it is important? Because it is genetically modified to produce an insecticide to co combat the cotton bollworm. So the cotton farming, as you know, has uh, uh, always infested with an insect called bollworm and uh, the groups of bollworms. Uh, and therefore, they were causing a lot of damage to the production and the yield. And the farmer was not getting uh, the enough yield as was expected. And as you can see, many cotton farmers uh, ran into losses and uh, some suicides were also noticed in the context of bomber because they did not uh, uh, were they did not know the uh, this harmful implication of the bollworm insect. Now, genetically modified insect uh, has come out as an in invention or an innovation wherein it has inbuilt insecticide which naturally will kill, which is a common prevalent uh, bollworm infestation. So it's a great uh, revolutionary technology in that sense, and uh, it produces an insecticide. To combat the corn. What are the types of uh, bollworms we have? So we have got uh, uh, increase of yield due to effective control of this. Only when you can control American bollworm, spotted bollworm, and pink bollworms. These are the three types which uh, invest, uh, infest or infect the cro cotton crop uh, globally everywhere. And uh, we need to take uh, uh, to in, in order to see uh, they will uh, impede the yield. They will damage the crop and it will lead to low yield. That's why in order to have a high yield or a expected yield, we should effectively control these three types. And a reduction in insect, what are the other benefits? 
because you are having a genetically modified death inbuilt pesticide you don't have to use insecticide it's a great news because many insecticides are polluting the soil water environment causing inhale by lungs by the people and causing uh, health problems so that is one important thing then reduction the cost this is also very very uh, important because the uh, potential reduction in the cost of the uh, cultivation there is a total cost reduction in the cost of the cultivation this is one of the benefit so it can kill the insecticide you don't have to use the insecticide inbuilt insecticide is there in the genetically modified htp pre cotton and it is genetically modified no insecticide is used and it is also cost effective and very very important because you are not using insecticides there is no health hazard to the farmers and to the population so and all that goes with the use of insecticide all that harmful effects can be avoided then the other important thing is the what are the issues what are the issues ever since the introduction bt cotton has faced severe opposition based on the environmental health problem that's because it contains a uh, a particular chemical compound that it can cause damage to the water damage to the uh, ground water surface and the soil and can be a carcinogenic and it can also ecologically damaging so the the other important criticism is it has been genetically modified which means manipulated in the laboratory or in the with the technology it is not naturally occurring because it is containing a insecticide uh, inbuilt into it it is genetically engineered <coughs> as a result the genetic diversity of the crop is getting affected see the crops get pollinated uh, i mean the plants get pollinated by, from one one species to another there is a genetic modification that can take occurring naturally so there can be different types of uh, number uh, g1 g2 g3 or c1 c2 c3 that of genetic diversity of crops could have come but instead now we are using only genetically modified this cotton and uh, so it destroys the genetic diversity of the crop that is the criticism then monopoly of seed so only we are buy, uh, all are forced to buy only this monsanto you know that uh, vandana shiva an agriculture activist in india very renowned internationally has criticized bill gates who was advocating monsanto and uh, therefore they say that monsanto multinational company uh, is exploiting the poor farmers in the developing and developed nations and uh, facing a, a lot of uh, 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 loss and also facing a lot of inconvenience it is in and because of monopoly uh, they are getting exploited so over the last 3 years report was that pink ball was becoming immune to ball. like initially you said that why genetically modified cotton is important because it has got inbuilt insecticide to uh, 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 kill ball gourd now it is becoming immune to ball gourd too out of the three worms it is not able to kill the second one ball gourd too so as a result it is not serving its purpose it is losing its importance the very property that it is uh, talked about in the genetic modification and then in the 2017 productivity is to be 9% lower than this year so high yield insect resistant uh, all these properties are not being shown to be very effective it is not giving immunity to one out of the three types of worms one worm immunity is lost not giving protection against that so if it is caused again low yield so as a result in the from uh, 2017 18 it was observed there is a lower yield compared to the expected yield uh, by using the promised benefits of this uh, sdbt cotton variant what is sdbt cotton it has got another layer of modification making the plant resistant to the herbicidal uh, called glycophosphate but has not been approved by regulators so because another layer of modification so earlier it has the insecticide now it has got another layer of modification making the plant resistant to herbicide glycophosphate no but has not been approved so this is the one problem that uh, uh, there that it is facing so what is the issue there is a big increase and therefore the, all these issues have come about and uh, now the what needs to be done what is the way forward farmers are at risk with such a illegal cotton seed sale there is no accountability of the quality of seed and there is also loss of revenue to the government and to the producers and the license uh, sellers uh, license uh, 
uh, uh, those dealers who are selling the legally the sale of the seed who are authorized. It will also uh, bring down the small cotton seed companies. It will eliminate, it will reduce, or it will be, all the small seed companies will be put to loss because the there is a illegal sale, black marketing, uh, and sale of spurious seed in the unorganized market in the open, not just the dealers. So illegal uh, because it's illegal. So therefore, uh, all small cotton seed companies uh, threaten the, the stand at a loss, and uh, legal entire legal cotton seed market may be put to loss. So this is the concern raised by the cotton manufacturers in India, and they say, please, government to take note of this and uh, curb these malpractices and spurious sales. What is the way forward? Regulators should know, they should limit checking not just to the licensed dealers. There is so much spurious sale, illegal sale, and uh, also lack of quality, uh, uh, assured quality, and uh, also uh, black marketing is taking by in the unorganized market. So the the, uh, the the cotton manufacturers and the cotton license dealers are uh, making an appeal to the government, please have a, a deal with them heavy handed. Let there be a crackdown. Let there be organized raids. Let them be brought to the book uh, under the act so that they will be their activities will be checked so that only legal sale, assured quality and that the appropriate price can take place. That is the plea made by them. And center has made the policy to ban this variant because that is very dangerous ecologically as well as health wise. Therefore, they are calling for the ban and uh, they made the government also rightly responded to ban this. But however, state governments have to take note of this. And uh, for example, agriculture also is a state subject. Therefore, the, each state in, uh, in its uh, provision should take care of this kind of, uh, so that it should protect the farmers from this illegal unscrupulous sale of the, uh, uh, the uh, these seeds as well as uh, black marketing and uh, also the ecological damage and most important protecting the farmer to give them the assured quality of the seed and the legal uh, sale is permitted. So the state government must step into this and do it. Who will do it in the state government? Ministry of Agriculture and officials, marketing department and police, legal metrology, they all can come and as an agent, enforcement agency and organize rights frequently and the more they are watchful, more they are assuring and the benefits of the genetically modified uh, BT cotton crop benefits, quality, yield and also safety is ensured to the farmers. Thank you very much. If there are questions, we will take it. Thank you.